That's right. I also have an infection on my elbow, but ew. My elbow infection's getting better. On the downside, I cut my finger this morning and I went to the doctors. It wasn't that bad. Like I think I caught it quickly. Like I didn't let it just sit open. So the flap that I had opened up, I feel like it got pretty deep. And so now I'm just wearing this stent, is that what it's called? To keep it in place because where I cut it is right where the finger bends. I just don't want to bend it to keep opening up the cut. So yeah, it was great. Well, not great, but I'm glad I got it taken care of right away for once. Didn't need stitches because the flap was staying closed. So they put some glue on it, wrapped it up, and I'm good. I'm going back to work. If I had any advice to give on this situation, I would say make sure you're fully awake before making yourself breakfast because I was still kind of half asleep. I was out to cut some butter and instead of using a butter knife, I used an actual kitchen knife, a new one, a nice sharp one, and sliced it. And like probably milliseconds before it happened, I was like, this is a bad idea. But I went forward with it anyway and now I'm paying the consequence. But yeah, that's my morning. Hey guys, it's Malia Taylor. So welcome to today's video. I'm sure you guys saw the beginning clip of me explaining that but we're gonna go ahead and move forward to today's video so this is in my opinion of course I mean it's kind of obvious the only skincare product you should really be worrying about and when I say worry about I mean it's the most important if you go outside you need this skincare product and if you live on planet earth you need this skincare product but I think it's pretty safe to say that sunscreen it's important. So I have a bunch of products that I want to share with you guys today. These are just a bunch of sunscreen products that I've been using and I use them for a bunch of different purposes, but I mean mainly to protect your skin. Hello. And I have some that I kind of use more for work. I have some that I use more for when I'm going out. So yeah, I'm just kind of going to share with you sunscreens that I've been liking, some that I don't use as often, ones that I recommend, ones that I don't recommend. And before you like roll your eyes and be like, oh, this is sunscreen, this is boring, like I have better things to do, like just, just take a few minutes and just think about it. If you're investing all this money to keep your face young or keep your skin young, to keep it moisturized, to prevent wrinkles, like this is it. This is how you do it. Instead of trying to reverse the aging process, of course, that's what I'm trying to do as well. But it's so important to prevent, prevent as much as you can from the wrinkles even beginning to form because of course the harmful rays of the sun is actually what's causing our skin to wrinkle. Of course other factors come in like genes, diet, I'm not a doctor but you get the picture here. Sunscreen is very important, I can't stress that enough. Of course many of us who we chose not to listen to our moms and learn the hard way about how important protecting yourself from the sun is. So here we are, gather around for our mistakes that we're only learning when it's too late. But better late than never I guess? But I mean yeah, I've been liking these sunscreens I mean, some are just okay. Some of them I really like and I recommend and yeah, let's get into it. So the first sunscreens that I use are for daily. These are sunscreens that I take with me to work. I try to apply it throughout the day. That is a little hard for me because I'm always dirty, always getting hurt, obviously. So I don't always get a chance, but if I'm telling you to make your sunscreen a priority, like obviously I have to like practice what I preach. So I am trying my best. I'm learning to get into a routine to where I reapply because it's really important. You can't just like apply it once and like expect the sun to like back off the whole day. So I <laughs> have to keep reapplying usually every couple of hours. But the ones I use daily, I usually put these on my arms. This is just like a drugstore cheap sunscreen. SPF 50, I believe. It's like a sport kind of sunscreen. Obviously the label's faded because I've had this thing for a while. I use it pretty much every day, at least every weekday. So I put a nice layer of this one on. It is chemical. It is just a cheap regular sunscreen from the drugstore. This one doesn't leave a white cast, but it is pretty greasy but it does its job so this is what I use on my face for like daily work days. So I use these two together. This more on the body, this more on the face. This is SPF 50. Um, both of these take about 15 minutes to start activating, but I use this one. I put it on my face. It's called the water gel lotion. I really like this one because I like the texture of it. It almost feels like a moisturizer. It definitely has that gel consistency that it talks about. So I really like this one. It's definitely not as greasy as this one. It does leave maybe more like a satin type of finish, but not super matte, but definitely not super greasy so I can get away with this just fine on an everyday basis. I used to use this one as a daily. It's really dirty so obviously I've had it for a while. This is just a basic Neutrogena again but this one's only SPF 15. This one's more for like lighter days but I stopped using it because I just wanted a higher SPF rating. This one's also good too. This one is greasy. I'd say it's more of the level of this guy so both of these are really greasy but I mean because it's for work it's it doesn't really matter to me. 
Now, let me see. I believe this one, I found this one off of Amazon. I, it's not even in English, any of the directions, but I believe this one is a more, what is it called? Like natural mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. So this is a good like travel size. I haven't used this one that much, but I definitely have a feeling when I run out of these that I'll start using this one. This isn't really for like the SPF. I use it for, for self tanning, so. Naturally, I am a little paler because I try to avoid the sun. So yeah, every once in a while, I'll go ahead and put like a light layer of this on and it'll build up. It's just a, it's like a moisturizer with SPF in it. It has SPF 20, so I'll just throw this on like really quick if I feel like I wanna add just a little subtle tan. You can build it up however you want. You can usually see it activating pretty quickly. Like I can start to see a color change pretty right away for some reason. I've been using this one for a couple of years now and I really like it. It's simple. I mean, I apply it with a makeup brush and I usually don't use it for SPF, but it is nice that it does have a little bit of SPF in it. So if I like apply this and I got to run out the door, like at least I have some type of coverage. Okay, these two ones are gonna be more of tinted SPF sunscreens. This one is more of a self tanner type of sunscreen, but this one already has color in it. So they are tinted sunscreens. These are sunscreens that I usually use if I'm trying to go out, if I wanna look nicer, so my skin can look more of like a solid color because I do have some discoloration when I'm breaking out. This kind of helps to just take the redness down and make me look more a little put together, but it's still like not really makeup. It's like a really, light see-through type of tinted sunscreen. If I had to choose between the two, I would have to say I like the Super Goop one. It's like a light tint to it. I like the way this feels. It's like, I want to say it almost looks like a mousse, the texture. And then once it blends into your skin, it almost feels like a powdery type of finish. So it's soft, it feels nice, and it evens out my skin tone, which is great. And then this one, I've only used this one a couple of times. This one is also a light tint too. I wouldn't say it's as matte, like this one is the most matte out of the group of sunscreens. This one evens out my skin tone too. This one is SPF 41, this one is SPF 40. I also wanted to discuss about reef safe sunscreens. I didn't know this until I was older. I did buy a couple, I think we still have it in our cars because we just put it on before we go to the beach, but there is reef, reef safe, ocean safe sunscreen that you can find. We picked a couple of them and I used one. One was super thick. It did take me quite a while because I put way too much. It took me a while to let it blend in. It did leave a white cast, but because I'm going in the ocean I and mean, I didn't really care, I just wanted to get out there and enjoy the water. I'm gonna keep testing out some reef safe sunscreens and see which one I like, but I'm just glad that now that I have that. Yeah, that's it you guys, that's all my sunscreens. As of right now, I'm still diving into the sunscreen world. I just wanted to share with you guys the sunscreens that I've been using. If I had to pick my top favorite sunscreens, I have to say these two, these two are my go-tos. This one, especially for daily, and then this one for going out. Yeah, they're both really nice. Go experiment, find which sunscreens work for you, what type of finish you like. It's so great that now more and more brands are starting to do SPF like makeup, SPF moisturizers. You'd be surprised like this moisturizer right here. There's SPF 15 in it. So I mean, anything that has some sun protection in it is great. And there's a lot more choices now. Protect your skin because it's irreversible pretty much. And I had to find out the hard way because now I'm dealing with the side effects, but better late than never. Okay, but that's it you guys. Those are my sunscreens that I'm using right now. It's probably gonna change over time because I'll probably find ones that I wanna keep, ones that I wanna move on from. And yeah, these are just sunscreens that I'm using right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.